Hello, everybody. Hey, there was a great question posed to me uh, in an email from one of you guys, and it was a word problem. And the word problem basically said the ratio of a, uh, the number of children to the number of adults. I think it was the number of people watching a movie or something like that. But the ratio of children to adults was two to five. So again, you'd have to read that in words, and then uh, on your scratch paper, you would write down that the children to adults ratio is two to five. Then it said that there were 280 people. And they had some questions about uh, which statements were true about the number of adults and children. So this automatically should seem like a proportion problem to you. Let me show you a common mistake and I'll show you why it's a mistake, then we'll kind of work it out. So let's say you're like, all right, so the ratio is two to five. So I'll go two to five. But maybe we want to see like how many are, say children out of 280. So you might go something like that. 2 to 5 equals how many out of 280? But this is going to be a mistake, and here's why. This 2 represents how many children. This 5 represents how many adults. Maybe we're trying to find out, like, how many children. But this 280 is people, not adults. So you can't do a ratio children to adults and then children to people. That's the part there that's going to mess you up. Um, if this is going to be people out of 280 people, then this needs to be people not adults. Here's how we're going to uh, figure out what to do. Going back to the original problem. Let's say we've got the two kids here that we're talking about. There they are. Let's say we got the five adults that we're talking about. There they are. All right, so here's two kids, five adults. So, this picture right here basically shows us that there's two kids out of all of these people. How many people is that? Well, it's two kids plus five adults. That's seven people. So even though the, in the original problem, they never said the number seven, seven is necessary for this problem. There's seven people, two kids out of seven people. Now we could use that to make a ratio, a proportion, I should say. And it could go like this. There's two children to seven total people that we just figured out based on that picture. So then how many children out of 280 people? And once we do that, it's actually super simple. We could use a shortcut. Instead of cross multiplying, we could say, what do you multiply seven by to make it 280? And the answer is 40. That means if you use the same strategy there for the numerators, two children times 40, we know that there's 80 children. All right, so now that we know that there's 80 children, we can figure out how many adults there are. So let's go back to our original problem. Out of these 280 people, now we just figured out that there's 80 children. And if there's 80 children, that means the rest of the people, 200 of them, have to be the adults. All right, sorry for my sloppiness, but uh, again, it's 80 children, 200 adults. These were the statements that we had to say if they were true or false. Let's see if we can answer these based on the fact that we now know 80 children, 200 adults. Would you say five-sevenths of the people are adults? Well, there's 200 out of 280. So basically, is 200 out of 280, is that equal to five-sevenths? So if I simplified it, That'd be 20 out of 28. That'd be five out of seven. So the answer is yes. But even without actually doing this, think back to that picture. Looking back at this picture, hey, there's five adults. Five out of how many? Five out of seven. So yeah, five out of seven are adults, that's true. Is it true that the children are two fifths of the adults? That's one of the statements. Again, these were written in words. I'm just kind of simplifying it, but they said something like the children was two-fifths as many as the adults. So to answer that, the children are 80. Is 80 two-fifths of the adults, and there's 200 adults. So is 80 equal to two-fifths of 200? And... Gonna cross cancel there. 
Yeah, that's true. All right, is it true that there's 120 more adults than children? Well, is this 120 more than that? Yeah, that's true. Is it true that there are 120 equal to children? So children is 120. No, children is 80, not 120. That's not true. And are two-fifths of the people children? Again, going back to that picture, it's not two-fifths, it's two-sevenths of the people are children. So not two-fifths. And so again, there's just an explanation to one of the questions that came from, I think that came from a study island question. And uh, the main part about this is knowing that when they give you the ratio two to five, that's children and adults, but you can make your own ratio two out of seven to give you the total amount of people since they were talking about the total amount of people. So it's pretty cool that when they give you two numbers, they're actually giving you more than two numbers. They're giving you a two and a five, but they're also giving you a seven, even though they didn't actually say seven. So there you go. I hope that uh, was beneficial for you guys. And uh, try more ratio questions and proportions. Keep working through your study island. We'll see you soon.